हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सलोनी एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल कोडेरा सो गाइज टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट द हायरिंग अपडेट फ्रॉम द इन्फोसिस सो गाइज दिस टाइम इन्फोसिस हायरिंग फॉर द टू डिफरेंट रोल्स सो द फर्स्ट रोल इज सिस्टम्स इंजीनियर विद द पैकेज ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स लैक पर एन एम एंड द अदर रोल इज ऑपरेशन एग्जीक्यूटिव विद द पैकेज ऑफ टू पॉइंट टू टू लैक पर एन एम नाउ लेट सी द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया फॉर दिस हायरिंग सो द फर्स्ट क्राइटेरिया इज ईयर ऑफ पासिंग सो द कैंडिडेट मस्ट बी पास आउट फ्रॉम द ईयर So guys this is the golden opportunity for you so don't miss this opportunity and the next criteria is blockage so in this hiring no active blockage are allowed now let's see the next criteria which is for the qualification of the candidate so if you want to apply for the role of systems engineer then you should have any one of these degrees which is be btech me or mtech and all branches can apply with this qualification and if you have done mca from any one of these branches which is computer science electronics mathematics physics statistics it and information science then you can also apply for this role and for this role mca students are also eligible now let's talk about the qualification criteria for the role of operations executive so bca student are eligible for this role and bsc student of all the branches are also eligible for this role and one more thing if you have done diploma in cs it ec or ee then you can also apply for this operations executive role now the next criteria is percentage so guys the candidate should have minimum of 60% in his 10th 12th and in graduation or post graduation and guys the last date of registration is 3rd of april 2022 so please apply before the 3rd of the april and one more important thing that you can apply for this drive if and only if you have not participate in the infosys limited selection process in the last 3 month so guys here infosys reduces this period of time because earlier it was 6 month so again this is a very good thing for you guys so these are the registrations link from where you can apply for this drive So as you can see in the end of the URL APR is written which means this links are for the April month hiring. So guys this is the latest hiring of Infosys so don't be confused. And I will provide this links in the description box. So when you click this link you will see this interface. So this is the data privacy declaration. You can read this if you want to. So here we have to select this checkbox and then click accept. After accepting the declaration you will see this application form. So here we have to fill all the required detail. Like first is gender. So here we have to select our gender and then here we have to enter our first name and then the last name and then provide your primary email ID. And please be careful while providing this email ID because all the mails regarding your online test and interviews will be received on this mail. and then upload your recent passport size photo and after that upload your updated resume and make sure your resume is in pdf format and then provide your primary contact number and here you can also give your alternate mobile number which is optional then enter your date of birth as per your legal documents like aadhar card and then enter citizenship like india and then if your passport is available so you can click yes else you can select no and then here you have to enter your address details like street or house number address line 2 which is optional and then pin code state country and city after filling all this information click the next page so in the next page we have to provide our all the educational details So in the first section we have to provide our 10th standard details. So first we will select secondary school leaving certificate and then enter your school name and select your board of education. After that select your field of specialization and then enter your country state and you can provide here your percentage or CGPA of 10th standard. and then select your passing month and year of 10th standard 
After this, in the next section, you have to provide the details of the 12th standard or diploma. So you can select here either 12th standard or diploma. After that, you have to select your degree. So you can select pre-university course if you have done diploma. Otherwise, you can select higher secondary school certificate. And then enter your school name, board of education, state and country of your school. And then select your area of specialization. For example, PCM. And here enter your percentage or CGPA or grade. And in the last, provide your year and month of passing. So in this section, you have to provide your graduation details. Like here you have to select your degree and then here provide your institute or college name and here select your university name and here also you have to select the country and the state of your institute then enter your percentage or CGPA and in last provide your passing month and year and if you have done post graduation so in this section you have to fill all this detail which are exactly same as graduation and then you have to select that either you have any active backlog or not. So you can select accordingly. And if there is any active backlog, then you have to enter the number of backlogs. After that, you have to select that either you have any education gap or not. And if you have any education gap, then here you have to enter the number of month and the reason of education gap. And then click on the next page. So previously, if you have not attended any drive of Infosys, then select no. And if you have attended the drive, so you have to select yes. So when you select yes, it will show you two more section. First one is for those candidate who have applied for the Infosys Limited. And second one is for those candidate who have applied for the subsidiary of the Infosys Limited. So here you can select yes or no accordingly. Like whether you have taken the test or not or whether you are selected for the interview or not and so on and then select next page so in this section we have to provide some other details like if you have company mein as a director work kar chuke ho, so select yes otherwise select no or if you have a company mein partner reh chuke ho, so select yes else select no and last if you have a criminal activity mein involved hai ya aapke against koi court case chal raha hai so accordingly aap yes ya no select kar sakte hain so now click on next page so here you have to upload your college photo identity card or you can also upload your government photo identity proof in the pdf form for the verification purpose and make sure you have uploaded a document in the pdf format and also note that you are not allowed to upload your Aadhaar card as identity proof. So here you can upload your PAN card or voter ID card. And then click on the next page. So first here we have to take this I agree checkbox. And then here enter your current location or city. And here we have to provide our full name. And in last validate this CAPTCHA and then click the submit button so here you have successfully applied for this drive so guys that's all about today's video i hope this video is clear to you that how you can apply for this drive and if you like this video or if you find this video helpful so please don't forget to share our video and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching